A man claiming he's Jesus, another throwing rocks at cars. Neighbors on the east side are blaming a couple of problem properties for attracting some unwanted people. And 13 Action News anchor Nina Porchunkula now joins us live. And Nina, this neighborhood certainly has struggled with these kinds of issues for a while now. Yeah, it's been going on for about two years now. And this is a neighborhood near Desert Inn and Eastern. Neighbors are frustrated. They're tired of seeing piles of junk on two separate properties here. But they're even more concerned about their safety, seeing suspicious people in the neighborhood. And they feel like they are running out of options. He had a bat and he would just take rocks and, you know, shoot them at cars driving by or, you know, say profanity to people that are walking by. Jenny Muller reached out to us concerned about safety. She says people are squatting on this empty lot near Desert Inn and Eastern, which backs up to her house. Jenny says a man once jumped the wall and got into it with a neighbor. I kept telling him he was Jesus and that that was going to he was going to make that into his holy land. Neighbors have called the police many times. He got arrested, but they go they get arrested and they come back for their stuff. And just two blocks down the street, neighbors have been complaining about another problem property. Pictures show how much trash piled up in his home before the landlord cleaned it up. Code of enforcement. Landlord Wiguo says he had a trouble with a tenant who kept breaking and entering even after getting evicted. Neighbors claim there were others who lived on the property, but Guo did not know about it. Because it is not my fault. I, I didn't. Uh, I, I, I never uh, allowed them to do that. Well, says the home is now vacant, and now he's got to clean things up. The county's code enforcement clock is ticking for him to fix it. So if you're dealing with this problem, what can you do? Well, the neighbors have done everything right. File a case with code enforcement and call police for any suspicious people or when they see someone trespass. Right now, the county continues to investigate both properties. Neighbors just want to get their peace of mind back. Even if we have to pay for it, have all this junk cleaned up. I mean, just have a company come come by and, and at least clean up the, the mess because then Jesus won't come back for it. And the county is reminding you if you spot a potential squatter, file a complaint with the agency with a right jurisdiction over the property and you're encouraged to contact both code enforcement and police in these cases. Nina Pushunkula, 13 Action News. Nina,